This place now bush, this place now bush, when you go develop, nine graduates they become tenants to illiterate. Those who buy bush yesterday, now then be lot to lucky to deal. So my brother, invest wisely and do only investment when you go fit to invest, when you go secure your future, now landed property. If you buy for your children, if you buy for your wife, if you buy for anybody. Tomorrow the thing they appreciate. Land will buy today 1 million. If you decide to sell at 10 million tomorrow, if you decide to sell at 15 million tomorrow, you know they feed them, you know they best feed them. Welcome to Ibadan. Buy the bush and leave the city. Oh, welcome to Ascenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the best. If it's not profitable and secured, you can never see us there. Why the, the name, name Hacienda, Hacienda? It might sound foreign. Yes, it's a Spanish word. And Hacienda means a large farmland. Basically used for the purpose of developing ranches. At Hacienda, our vision. The vision of Hacienda is to develop an agrotourism location that's a mixture of agriculture, hospitality, and real estate. That is Hacienda. But many people have yeah. been asking if this is an agri land. This is for mixed use purpose. Besides the agricultural aspect, it is also going to be residential as yeah. well. Here at Hacienda, we have about five clusters. Hacienda plantation. Waiting for your land to appreciate at the plantation. We are going to be developing farms, plantation, actual plantations, plantain plantations on Hacienda plantation. Now, what that does is that it gives you the opportunity to earn capital appreciation on your land. And also, once the plantations have been cultivated, nurtured, and the plantains harvested, once it's harvested, we would sell it off and you'll be getting profit from that yield as well. At the end of the day, you'll be getting around 10 to 25% return on your investment from the plantation. This is beside the capital appreciation of your land at Hacienda Plantation. That is our first focus. Um, one of um, the other one five clusters is Hacienda Green. Hacienda Green is the greenhouse structures that we're going to have here at Hacienda. So besides so be Hacienda Plantation, you can also key into Hacienda Green, whereby we will develop the greenhouses, manage it, maintain it. And once that is set up, we would also be selling the produce and you would get returns on that particular investment also. That is more long term and it is highly sustainable. The entire project is crafted and... You can either own the 400 square meter plots or the 600 square meter plots. You can also go for a bulk purchase offers. With this, you can own one acre, which is six plots, at a 10% discount. Or you can own one hectare, which is 15 plots, and you get two plots of food. Now, the third cluster of Hacienda is Hacienda Stay. Hacienda Stay is the purely residential part of this estate. Now, at Hacienda Stay, we're going to be developing ranch-like houses and other kind of residential developments within the that area would be excluded from the plantation areas and it is going to be used solely for the purpose of staying residential and the fourth cluster is what we call hacienda play yes in every estate we all like to play have fun there should be provision for leisure activities and all of that here at hacienda and hacienda play what we're going to be developing at play is something similar to what we have at places like Lakwe Golf Course Resort in Lagos, like the Obuku, Obudukatu Ranch in Cross River State, things like that, yes. Here, we're going to be having quad bike rides, hiking activities, a lot of leisure activities, even swimming pools and the likes, a lot of leisure activities to just make sure that your stay here is luxurious and you have leisure, you can unwind, you're not just living here and having the farm experience. Everything is a total package and an experience for you once you're at Hacienda. Now, the final cluster, which is the fifth cluster here at Hacienda, is what we call Hacienda Spaces. Yes, at Hacienda Spaces, we're developing places like... Um, it's going to be like a resort sort of experience in total. At Spaces... We're going to be having spaces that are going to be used for recreation, spaces that are going to be used for seminars at the end of the day. So you can come here with your team and unwind, just like how we have Lakwe in Lagos. Come with your team for a retreat or a seminar, maybe Q1 retreat and things like that. Come and unwind, use the spaces, the boardrooms for your activities and your meetings, stay in stays and, you know, just have the entire hospitality experience once you are here at Hacienda. That is the vision of Hacienda. 
it's not like a land bank in project or one of these regular projects where you just get ordinary land we have factored in everything to ensure that you get maximum i repeat maximum profit from your entire stay and your investment here at hacienda here we have various land sizes starting from 400 square meters to about five hectares you can either subscribe to 400 square meters 600 square meters you can buy an acre you can buy a hectare you can buy five hectares five acres in fact the list is endless you can even buy 100 acres we have opportunities for that now you're looking at over 300 plots of 600 square meters here the entire space here at hacienda it is over 300 plots it's massive and that is because we need to have all of these clusters that we want to accommodate here at hacienda we need enough space to be able to achieve that we can't have a very small space and say we will achieve that first of all it would even seem ridiculous because you would ask how do you want to achieve all of that within this space that has been catered for a very large space that would accommodate all of that our, first our focus, focus project, project first of all we're starting with hacienda plantation at hacienda plantation once the investors invest here either you're buying 400 square meters or 600 square meters or one acre or five hectares irrespective of the amount of um, plots you'd be purchasing, you would be in, you'd be required to pay a farm, one year farm setup and management fee besides the cost of your land. So after, so after you after pay you for the land, and that is your lockdown at Hacienda Plantation, you would also have to pay what we call the one year farm management and development levy. We're not charging you anything extra for documentation. That cost has been factored into the cost of the land already. Then for development levy, that has also been factored into the cost of what we call development and one-year farm management setup. Yes. And it is what I would like to call shikini money. For the first year, you'll be paying like 450000 And why it is that amount now is because this is the first year. And we need to do things like set up and a host of other developments here. That is why it is that cost. But everything has been factored in. Please, I would advise that you get the brochure and look through it. It would answer most of your questions. You can I'm in Dominion that. State. Of course, you all I do is create generational wealth for my clients. Good value on anything I'm investing on. So the best are sure that anything you're getting here from us, you're getting the best. And this is not just a land banking opportunity, another land banking opportunity. This is a great return on your investment. Of course, if it's not profitable or secured, you can never see me there.